Hey y'all, we're gonna go ahead and make some goulash. I got two pounds of ground beef in here. I have one bell pepper and one onion that's diced up, and we're gonna throw that here in our pot. And we're gonna go ahead and brown this until our ground beef is no longer pink and our peppers and the onions are softened. Our meat is no longer pink. Go ahead and drain all your grease out and then put everything back in your pot. Y'all, now we're gonna add in one tablespoon of minced garlic. We're gonna stir that around. This recipe is in our family cookbook on page 10. So if you have the cookbook, that's where it's at. If not, I will put the ways to order the cookbook above this post and below in the comments. So we're gonna let this cook for just another minute or two. All right, y'all, now we're gonna add in a 32 ounce box of beef stock and throw that in here. Now we're gonna add in two cans of diced tomatoes and these are 14.5 ounce. So there's one. And then here's another one, so that's two cans. I'm going to add in two 15 ounce tomato sauces. So let's go ahead and dump those in there. Now we need one tomato paste. Let's go ahead and add in our tomato paste. And then we are going to get this all up to temperature. And then we're going to add in some seasonings. y'all we're gonna go ahead and add in three bay leaves now we're gonna add in one tablespoon of adobo seasoning we're gonna mix that around we're gonna add one tablespoon plus one teaspoon of Italian seasoning and I am using Batsamori Italian blend from Shore Smoke Check them out on Facebook. Let's go ahead and stir this up. Then we're going to add in one and a half teaspoons of pepper. There's one and a half. I'm going to add in one and a half teaspoons of garlic powder. And then we're going to add in a half a teaspoon of onion powder. Then we're going to add in one tablespoon of seasoned salt. And we're going to let this cook for a little while, for about 20 to 30 minutes. All right, y'all. So after about 20, 30 minutes, you're going to add two cups of elbow macaroni to the pot and then we're going to let this cook for another about 20 minutes until the noodles are all tender and soft. All right y'all so it's all done. So we're going to go ahead and put this in a little bowl so you can see what it looks like. All right y'all this is what it looks like. So give this a try. Remember to like and share. Family cookbooks will be listed above and below. I hope everybody gives this a try and has a wonderful night.